Welcome to Strangle School. I'm Josh Moody. I got my buddy Mike here. Today we're going to continue on our Case of Atomi series, uh, talking about how to attack the near side arm, and we'll we'll throw a choke in there as well. And maybe I was going for a guard pass, and Mike is able to dig an underhook right there. So I snatched his head, and I sat to a nice low base. And I sat to a scarf, I sat to a case of Tommy. I grabbed my own thigh, my, my leg is straight in the line with his head so he can't bridge and roll me, all that good stuff. And now Mike's able to get this elbow and he starts trying to dig it into my hip then. See that? So I got him tight, but he starts like pulling this elbow into his hip right here. Okay, I'm gonna try and push this hand down. But I mean, Mike's a grown ass man. He's not just gonna let me push this down. It's not gonna happen. That's gonna be fine. That's gonna be hard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my head forward, and that's how I'm gonna bring his hand down. I bring his hand down, and I bring my head forward. I'll step my rear leg over it, and I'm gonna drag it open. I'm gonna pick his head up, and I'm gonna bridge my hips. If I don't pick his head up, his shoulder's not locked out the same way, and his arm starts to has a little bit more play in it. When I lock his head, his shoulder's in a, a bad spot. It keeps his shoulder from being able to move around. And then I can attack that elbow. So I get myself to a case of Katami, because Mike was able to steal that underhook from me. And he starts trying to bring his elbow into my ribs. I'm gonna bring my head forward to trap his hand nice and low. Okay, I bring his hand forward. I'm gonna bring my rear leg, I'm gonna step over it, and I'm gonna drag it backwards. I'd like to trap his wrist, like his thumb right behind my knee. That would be ideal. It's not always gonna happen, but I would love it if his thumb was pointing at my knee. Okay, I'm gonna drag it a little bit backwards. I'm gonna come to his, to his head, I'm gonna bring his head offline to lock his shoulder out, and then I bridge my hips in for, for an arm bar. If Mike is wise to this, he's going to be like, no, nah, that's not happening. He's going to bring his hand up. Oh, snap. He brought his hand up by his head. I'm going to lock my triangle. I'm going to grab his head. And I'm going to hip in. Okay, again, don't just try and hip in right here. He's got a lot more play in his, in his shoulder than if I move his neck. Now his shoulders don't move the same. Last one. If his elbow gets to my body and I need to sit up, and I trap him behind the leg, and instead of bringing his hand towards his head, he leaves his hand under here, but turns his thumb down. Okay? I can't arm bar him here, so I'm gonna trap his arm. I'm pinching that arm between my thighs. I'm gonna bring my head down by his head, and push his face away. What I'm doing is I'm opening up his chin. So his head's right here, I'm gonna push his face open with my head to make a space for my fist to go in his neck, okay? So I bring my head down, I push his head out of the way, I'm going to grab my own bicep or my own wrist, it's your choice, whichever one feels more comfortable to you. And then I'm going to sneak my fist in front of his throat. My left, the, the side of my left fist, like I was hammer fisting him, is on the side of his throat and my bicep's on the side of his throat. So I'm going to push my bicep and push my hammer fist. For an Ezekiel choke. So I try to push this down, I try and step over. If his thumb is facing his head, when he tries to escape, I trap it right here. I lock my Americana. If his thumb starts facing his hips, when he tries to escape that arm bar, I bite down on it, I move his face, and I lock my Ezekiel. Thanks for studying at Strangle School. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. This time and every time, thank you for being here.